I've been running a survey recently on how students um, view shopping at Manchester Arndale and I got lots of lovely data which we can see in the responses tab but the one which I really want to analyse is what jobs people want to do in the future. So I've downloaded this and opened it in Excel and saved it as an Excel file format and that's very important. So I've now got this data, let's analyse it. So I'm going to jump into Parallels, so we're in Windows now. I've already got a project opened and in the previous video we covered how to create a project. So, how do we get the data into here so we can analyse it? It's quite simple. On the fourth tab along we have external data. We choose data set, browse and just go to where it is. We've got to save it to the desktop so I can click open and next. Now we've only got one tab in the sheet Usually you might have three or four from Excel formats, but that's quite simple. So we've got one we want to import. Click next. Now the date order here, we've got a timestamp at the start. That's saying day, month, and year, but if you look, 2015, 11, 13, that's year, month, date. So YMD um, at the very bottom. Select that and click next. Now the next part is very important. Now there's two kinds of field you can import. One is called codable and one is classifying. Now if you zoom to the end, we have something which is a classifying field. So are you a student? That's classifying what's going on. Um, but what you want to do for a job, that's going to be a codable field. So um, there's that. And also you can choose to import certain fields or not import them. So this first one here, do you agree to take part in the survey? That is just an ethics system. It's not actually finding anything about you. So I don't need it for in vivo. I'm not going to import that. But the rest of them, I'm going to leave in there. I'll definitely import them. And I'm going to say, uh, let's just click everything. Assume everything's code or field. Just go through and code them. Because we're choosing opinions here and saying what people feel, go for that. Now, the thing to remember is that we have um, data types. You know, we have text data, which is fine. Um, we have number, but in this case it's all text. So let's just go through this, make sure everything's codable. It doesn't take very long, but obviously depending on the survey, it might be here for some time. And there we go, that's classifying, we'll leave it there. So we're done. Now we've set these um, columns, click next. And we need to give this a name. So we can say survey data 2015. So click finish. And it's importing it. And go to sources and internals. There we are. The reason why it's internal is because we're actually storing it in file itself. An external would be we store data somewhere else and we're just viewing it, but in this case it goes with this file. Now I'm going to full screen to make life a bit easier. We've now imported the data into there. We can double click here and we see that our data has now opened up. We can view it and start doing great things with it.